Hey, what's up guys, John here. Things are heating up in California, especially in the real estate market, with this insane new law that just got held up. Whereas if you are a property owner, or a landlord, you're renting your unit, let's say your tenant throws massive parties, or maybe turn the unit into an Airbnb, whatever he did, or she did, whatever. But you wanted to evict this tenant, and you went to court, and you legally evicted the tenant. Well now, under law, under new law, you have to pay that tenant one month's rent for having been legally evicted, right? And so the average rent in California is much higher than the national rent, but median rent right now is $2,002, right? $2,002. And now California law requiring property owners to pay one month's rent Legally evicted tenants is upheld. A federal appeals court upheld a 2020 election law forcing property owners to legally evict tenants to pay one month's rent to reduce relocation costs. Under the law AB 1482, rent increases are limited to 10% a year in areas without rent control. So LA County has rent control. Many areas in California have rent control, right? And it also offers financial assistance to renters who are evicted because their owner decided to move or convert the property into a condo. Well, you ask, you know, how many, how many tenants are behind on rent in California? It's roughly one in seven. So one in seven renters in California is behind on rent. And in LA County alone, it's roughly 678,000 households in LA County are behind on rent According to recent U.S. Census Bureau data, in many cases, larger corporate landlords have come up with ways to pursue evictions for LA tenants who are behind on rent, even tenants approved for government rent relief. Well, this relief was supposed to be sent out a year, a year and a half ago, almost two years ago, still has yet to arrive, but property taxes are due. You have to maintain the property, fix the property. You have all the expenses associated. Now, what I think is interesting here is how this whole thing plays out. You have these landlords that are paying a lot of property tax, one and a quarter percent property tax on their property. They're paying for expensive repairs. California is not a cheap place for labor, right? You're, you're paying, you have high costs, you have high expenses. And if your tenant is being financially incentivized to not pay rent in an inflationary environment where people don't have money, you have to ask yourself, if people don't have money, and this is a guaranteed way for them to potentially live for a few months for free during an eviction process and then get paid an additional month to leave, it's almost like an eight or $10,000 bonus to, to not abide by the lease, right? You have to ask yourself, is that something people would do? Well, in LA County, the eviction moratorium is until June of 2023, and I haven't, an impression that it would make sense for many people in that expensive area to take advantage of a eviction moratorium, right? Live rent free. And eventually when you do leave, you know, that judgment, if you end up getting a judgment going to court, that judgment is only as good as the landlord's ability to collect on it. Many people get judgments, but the reality is like 90, 95% of them go uncollected. So the judgment means almost nothing. And so these tenants are gonna say, you know what? Okay, I'll go to court, we'll go through this process, maybe you get a judgment, good luck collecting on that judgment, and then what ultimately happens after that? The landlord, you know, they're not gonna pay $200, $300 an hour for an attorney to go chase after a judgment or try to, you know, sell the debt to somebody else and then try to go through that, all that hassle. It's too expensive, it's too tedious, the landlord just wants to get the tenant out to be able to re-rent the unit. But what I think is likely gonna happen here, I think a couple things are gonna happen. One is I think that there's gonna be a lot of landlords that say, you know what, screw this. I'm out of California, I'm not dealing with it, I'm done. And there's gonna be other landlords who say, okay, fine, I'll play the game. I have the money, I'm gonna play the game. I'll give you your two grand or three grand, maybe downtown LA, 3,500 bucks. You know, I'll give you the money to relocate. This whole situation is gonna cost me 40 grand or 30 grand when I take into consideration my legal fees, all the past due rent that I lost, plus the additional month I had to pay. I'm gonna pay that, that payment, right? But the next person that moves in is gonna pay a higher rent and I'm gonna demand X amount of months up front. I'm gonna demand X, Y, and Z, right? They're gonna get so hard on tenants because it's almost like the Wild West out there. They're not there to help property owners. 
What I think they're trying to do here is I think that they really are making the landscape challenging and they're talking about affordable housing. Well, if they want affordable housing, they want to buy cheap real estate deals because they have a ton of money and they're looking for deals. What would be the best way to do this? Probably to draw down demand for these rentals and to force people into selling properties, especially in an environment where interest rates are going up and it costs more to borrow money. So what's likely gonna happen is property values are naturally gonna fall anyway, and then the desirability to own these properties is gonna fall. It could be a good opportunity to, uh, to enter the market, right? And so as we start to see these changes, I honestly think that this whole market is being laid out to cripple landlords, but going forward. That's why I think it's so smart, like it's so smart uh, for intelligent people and investors to do their homework and research on where they invest their money. Really look at a state like California, really look at a state like New York and you know other areas where they are almost intentionally making it more challenging for landlords and more uh, you know more of a friendly environment for those that do not want to you know pay rent or you know, or, or cooperate with a, a signed lease agreement, right? Pay attention to these changes. It's big, it's happening. I think it's likely going to only progress. And I think it's going to be survival of the fittest for the smart and savvy landlord going forward. I think it's an extremely imperative for landlords to have large cash reserves, to not be leveraged, and to have flexibility in this environment. You do not want to be at 80% debt on a property as you're stepping into a high interest rate economy where rates are like going to go up and drag down the value of your properties. You might say, oh, John, but the, rent, the rents are more than going to pay for the, for, the, uh, for the building, for the debt. But the reality is, what happens if that isn't true? What happens if we see a pullback in rents? Rents picked up nationally about 18.5%. So if rents go back to where they were just two years ago, many of those landlords are gonna be underwater. They're not gonna be able to you know, sell those properties. They're gonna be in a, in a bad position, right? And so you wanna be in a position where you have options, you have equity, and you have leverage, right? That's where you wanna be. I would not be surprised if we start to see situations where inflation gets out of control. We see many, many more of these circumstances where they try to level the playing field, as they would say, and make things more challenging. And so the more flexibility you have in your rents, if you can drag rents down 30% if you had to, or 40% if you had to, and you're still in the green, you know, that's a great thing, right? It gives you flexibility. Not saying you have to do it, but you have the ability to do it, right? And that's what's gonna be important going forward. Having flexibility, knowing the rules and the laws and where you invest, and paying attention to states like California. Because California, I believe, is like an anchor to America. A lot of what happens in California will start to happen in other locations, in other states. We're already starting to see it happen. What do you think about this? Would you pay a tenant to not pay you rent if you signed a lease, right? It's interesting. You know, we live in a very unique time. Drop your comments below. Let me know your thoughts on this whole situation. It's pretty crazy to me. Who would have predicted this two years ago? three years ago. Oh yeah, you know, rent will be optional for a year or two years. They don't actually have to pay. And then, you know, if they don't, if they decide they don't want to pay, good luck collecting. And then, you know, you got to pay them actually to not pay rent. Hmm. <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy. We live in like a, we live in a, a pretty wild movie. You know, drop your comments below. Let's talk about this. Subscribe here. Also subscribe to my second YouTube channel. It's going to be an interactive call-in show this upcoming week. It's really going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to talking to you guys. We're going to talk about real estate, the economy, business. It's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. It's going to be cool. Uh, so be sure to subscribe there. The link is uh, pinned at the top comment below. Go ahead, follow me on Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and TikTok if you want. And then if you need help fixing your credit, maybe you want to buy real estate when the market crashes, cashnow.video. That's cashnow.video. If you want to learn about you know, how to grow and scale on YouTube. If you want to learn about real estate, you want to join my private community, join my calls that I have every other week. It's cashnow.video. I look forward to you know, getting to know you guys. So be sure to subscribe there if you want help with your credit. You want to learn about YouTube. You want to partner with me on YouTube. You want to learn about real estate, cashnow.video. All right, I'll see you in the next one. If you're interested in being sponsored on my YouTube channel, visit cashnow.video dot video forward slash sponsor and fill out the application.